I got a super view on. So hopefully we'll see more of my fuck ups when I'm trying to do wheelies. It's not good, it's not good. Okay. Well. Hopefully it doesn't start pouring down raining because I'm going to try and do some wheelies. Oh no, it doesn't close. <laughs> Visors propped open by my GoPro. I really got to get a better setup as far as mounting goes. Had to drive to get duct tape, of all things. Going back to my parking lot. I got super view on. I don't really like using that. And I couldn't really get the camera where I wanted to be at. Just my session one. My camera was aimed so down at the bike, you could hardly see anything as far as the view. So you couldn't even really tell whenever I was actually getting a wheelie or a pseudo one. This bike, it's like begging to be, begging to be shifted around 9K. I always shift it before that anyway. I usually shift it before 7. Completely forgotten everything. <laughs> I need to work on executing it and getting it to that height and by executing it I mean the coordination of the clutch let out the throttle action and whatever else is in play there I guess my positioning but I need to get that in sync that way I have absolute control over it so I'm having it as false starts when I'm trying to lift it up and just revving it really too high because if I accidentally dump the clutch while it's revved high like that it could be bad I mean, it seems like it I don't know all right physically taxing but it's fun Take off a jacket.
That was cool. Hopefully the super view is showing that. <laughs> okay, I didn't forget everything. I was kind of worried that I would. I mean, it's only been seven days, but still. The better you are at popping the clutch, the easier it is or the less revs that are required to get it up. I mean, it's, you're probably listening to that and thinking, yeah, like, no shit. That's, that's kind of how it works, but I don't know. Just my observations. Okay, jack's coming off. Too hot. Spike is the most difficult to get in neutral sometimes. <sighs> ah. Okay, back to it. <laughs> that mud slippery there. <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> that was almost a little sketch. Planted sideways. Ah, this is fun. sketch I might need to relax a bit until I acquire more control and skill I think my fear is keeping that in check anyway just like last time You get that synchronization in right and it goes up easy. Oh. 
Oh, that was fucking scary. <laughs> oh, man. Eight. 7.5 to 8. That's the lift off point on this little bike. Of that brings a smile on my face, the other half brings me for a change of pants. <sighs> oh man, <laughs> I'm so stupid. I don't see how those guys do power wheelies going like 70 miles per hour. Maybe it, that seems like that'd be really scary if you landed the wrong way. there provides all sorts of sketch. Looks like Troopy's gonna keep going. This has got to be hell on my front forks. They're probably just going <laughs> to... Oh, Lord. Hopefully these bikes are as durable as they say they are.
getting off that fucking throttle, man. I gotta get off that throttle. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it's been filming. I think only had like an hour. SD time. Something like that. forcing down the pressure from my arm whenever I'm working the clutch. I think that's what I'm doing. I gotta keep it light up here. There's no reason for force on these controls because all I have to do is hold on. Whenever it lifts up, all the momentum is going to be shifting backwards. That means my hands don't need to be pushing downwards. They need to be holding on. So I don't fall backwards, I suppose. There'll be enough forward momentum, so I don't need to push forward, but I have a habit of doing that because I'm trying to work controls with a lot of forearm muscles, and these controls don't require a lot of strength to be moved, so I need to stop that, and that'll probably lighten up my handle there and keep stuff straight, making me less likely to hurt myself. That's what I'm observing I could be wrong. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Okay. There's that sketchy mud you're trying to wheelie into. It's hard not to provide that forward momentum whenever you're shifted forward though. I guess it's not my entirely my muscles trying to work controls just i need to lean back and stop leaning forward <laughs> but if i do that that might provide just enough shift and weight to make me go backwards too far and that's what terrifies me <sighs> big old scaredy cat yep. idea how high I'm actually going though. It seems like I'm going high but I'm probably not anywhere near balance point which means I'm not actually doing proper wheelies at all but <sighs> baby steps. Baby steps. I don't want my I don't know what is it? What's that word? I hate when I can't think of words. I don't want my ambition to exceed my skill level. That's the word I was trying to look for. Ambition. Don't want to be too ambitious. When I haven't developed the skill to control the ambition. On a machine like this, which is in between me and the goals, or not in between, but just part of it. So if I don't have if I don't have absolute control over this thing, then I'm gonna fall or do something dumb. Unless I get lucky. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything, buddy. Been calling your cop friends over here. I'm not setting anything on fire, I promise you. <laughs> now that time, rather than get scared immediately on, upon the liftoff, I'm starting to... I'm starting to get more comfortable in that wheelie part and I'm starting to also get more consistent with getting it there in a controlled manner so that's breeding of course confidence and I feel like when I'm in that position I'm in more control than I was before which is good 
Watching out for illusions of control though. <laughs> Don't want that. Definitely was not in control there. Now, I'm gonna keep doing this though. I plan to come back sometime in between last Sunday and this Sunday to do this, but I just didn't have the time. The weather didn't permit. I didn't have a choice. I was even going to get in a night session by my home, but started raining very disappointing but I'm just gonna keep doing this easing into it taking my time gonna try and maintain all the control that I can I only have one body and I can't really afford multiple bikes so I see you buddy do you see me I sure hope not the norm of how comfortable you feel on the bike and you're doing stuff like that once you go back to just normally driving from point A to point B you feel so much more comfortable and confident on the bike Not, I'm not saying to the point of detriment, I'm just <laughs> you definitely feel like you can do your comfort zones just become expanded doing stuff like this, learning how to wheel it. And it's good. Overall, it makes you a better motorcycle rider for whatever reason, through folly or <laughs> I don't know, actual progression. One thing I think I'm noticing that I'm doing is if I don't execute the right rev range in conjunction with popping the clutch, then the bike doesn't lift up as much. And what I'm doing is I think I may be continuing on the throttle just to go a little faster, just to either maintain whatever wheelie I have achieved 
or try and get up a little further. And that's kind of like the opposite of what I'm trying to do. That's essentially chasing a wheelie, <laughs> which isn't what I want to do. I'm trying to actually do them properly. Definitely wheelies though. I think I'm gonna take a break and review how much battery I have and all other stuff. One more good one in though. I'm telling you, this bike has always felt like a little dirt bike to me. It's been so much fun just because of that. I'd rather be on a dirt bike learning how to wheelie than a sport bike. Just saying. Ta da! I have no idea Snoop Dogg has wine. <laughs> that is awesome. Break time's over. I'm gonna keep going till this little red light stops blinking, I suppose. Got the music a little louder. See if I can learn some more about how to do proper wheelies. Or, <laughs> I shouldn't even have the word proper in anything that I'm doing, but still. I'm trying real hard. Let me get back at it. Parking lot so dry, I don't think it rained very much here at all today. See how easy that popped up? I think it popped up at 7k just because I had the clutch thing right versus revving it to 8 or a little over like I've been doing sometimes to get it up. I'm gonna forget that sketch mud spot and just fall on my ass and anything. Any moment. <laughs> that was really red tie. But I've also noticed that regardless of the rev range, the clutch and your control of the clutch and when you do it, when you 
employ it or deploy it has everything to do with how high the bike rises and when it rises. So clutch is the the kicker. That's important, the throttle part and the RPMs, but clutch, man. Get that clutch control down. It's just like riding a bike. It's one of the most important things. Gathering. I don't know. Vanquish fear and panic. That's something I heard on the Discovery Channel, I think, like from a survival show, but it's very applicable in all scenarios. Yep. Three decent ones in a row. Getting fear in check. Turn the deant word up in my ear. Really good stuff. Great South African rap band. cycle there eventually. <laughs> when I was little I would take my big wheel up and down the road by our house. And I would go as fast as I could and then I would slam the brakes tight. I mean not the brakes but the, the pedals. I'll make the pedals stop and just slide it sideways. <laughs> and then of course I would just keep going right around and do it again. Slide it sideways. And here I am some odd years later, a long time later, doing this. Essentially the same thing in a different fashion, a different sort of toy. <laughs> Interesting.
far the scariest shit and for some reason I was trying to ride it out but I think the reason why I was trying to ride it out is because I was trying to straighten up my wheel because I knew if I landed with it crooked as shit it would not be good so I believe instincts took over there a little bit but I need to chill out because I was sketching shit <laughs> that almost indicates that I'm a stopping point <laughs> That was fun though. <laughs> mm, man. See how scared I am now? Yep, totally shook up from that. I'm like shaking a little bit from that. <laughs> oh man. It's kind of exhilarating. That's weird. I didn't expect that. Yeah, I keep getting dangerously higher. Oh, Lord. the practice for the day. Shaking myself up enough. Got enough footage. I think I'm like at an hour now or something. That's way too long anyway. So that's a good session too. It's all you buddy. You've been here for a long time, not me. sounds really fast that's the coolest sounding mustang ever like it was a fucking uh those things the big robot things they make movies about them transformers like he was a fucking transformer jeez that sounded weird like alien like really electronic great i don't know if it is that must be a 2021 model what am i talking about i don't tell me what dude has put in the thing that was cool though what are you doing, dude? I ain't trying to run over you, buddy. That was a really fun slash scary wheelie session today. I feel like I made some progress. Learning a little by little. Bit. 
bed before I head out. See what she's up to. guys and gals and everything else out there we are all friends and I am glad that anyone if anyone is watching any of my videos and my pitiful wheelie progression thank you like subscribe pay attention for more videos hasta luego bye